Welcome once again to SM North Online Math Class. In this video, we are going to continue with set a theory. Kindly hit the red button to subscribe to my channel. It gives you notification whenever a new video is out. Now, our center of attention in this episode of a set theory should be on the meaning. So this should be the center of our attention in this episode. So we are going to discuss the meaning of cardinality, the union, intersection, and complement of sets. So when you talk about the cardinality of a set, the cardinality of a set, let's say set A, written as N of A, is just the number of elements present in set A. So when you come into a set A, and you find out that the number of elements you can see there are just five in number. It means that the cardinality of that set A is five. For example, the Anambra state in Nigeria has 21 local government areas. Therefore, the cardinality of the local government areas in Anambra state is 21. The same thing applies to your homes. If you have five in your family, it means that the cardinality of your family members is just five. Okay, the next thing here is union. The union of two or more sets means the coming together of the two sets without repeating any element. Just like we say in marriage, the union of, is the union of a man and a woman to become husband and wife. So it's just coming together. So when you talk about the union of set, it means merging two sets together, mixing them up without repeating any element. An element is just a member. So don't be confused when I use the word element. It's something you know and something you are used to. Okay, um, the symbol of union, let's say I want to match set A and B. I can write it as A union B. That's the meaning. So this letter U represents union. We are matching two sets together. So apart from uh, the union of sets, we have another one known as intersection of sets. So intersection of sets you are just trying to fish out those elements that are present in both sets so any element you are see you are able to see in two or more sets those elements are the uh, um, intersection so the intersection of two or more sets simply means the elements that are common to both sets okay so um and look at how we write it a intersection B. So this N here represents intersection. Remember the intersection means the connection. What links the two sets together? What can you see in both sets? That's their intersection. Then finally we have the complement of a set. Complement is got from the word complete. Some elements are incomplete just like this set B A now. You see that universal set which is the main set that contains every other set under discussion has elements 1 till 10. And you can see that these sets A and B, they are not complete. Some elements are missing. Those elements that are in the universal set, which when they come into these two sets, this set becomes complete, are the complement of those sets. So complement means those elements that will complete the set. So we say that the complement of a set is the element that are universal set, but not in that set. For example, now, 10 is a universal set, but set is 10 is not in set A. So 10 is part of the complement of set A. And look at how we write complement of set A. I want to write A complement. Some people can still write it as this. Both of them are correct, but this is the most popular of the two of the various symbols used for complement of a set. So now, having learned the meaning of all these terms here, let us apply them in this program here. Okay? Uh, the number one question we have here says these are the sets given and we are asked to get A intersection B. A intersection B simply means the element you can see in set A which is also in set uh, B. So question I, A intersection B means what am I seeing here that is also here? I've perused through set A and B and I found out that only set 9, only element 9 is present in both sets. So it's only nine that I can see in both sets. So since nine is in both sets, 
line becomes A intersection B, the connection between the two sets. So II says we should get A union B complement. Before you can get A union B complement, you need to get A union B. Okay? So let's find A union B. A union B means those elements that are just combine the elements in set A and B together, mix them all. Look at set B, union means merging together. But as you're merging together, don't repeat any element. So A union B means write everything I'm seeing in A and B. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and the 9. Don't write 9 into 2 times because you are seeing that 9 is double here. No, no, you don't do that. You don't repeat any element. Okay, so we've got A union B. Therefore, A union B complement will now be, this set is not complete. Something needs to, need to complete, complete it. And that element is 10 because 10 is not here, but 10 is in the universal set. So A union B complement will give us just 10. Because once 10 comes into this set, it becomes a complete. The next one is A intersection B complement. A intersection B complement. We need to first of all get A intersection B before we got to talk about the before we get to talk about the complement. So A intersection B ordinarily is just nine. The element common to both sets. Nine. Therefore, A intersection B complement we become if this set has only nine. So it needs a lot of elements for it to be complete. For example, there is no one here. No two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There is nine, but there is no ten. So all these elements need to come into this set before it becomes a complete. That is what we mean by A intersection B, all complement. Now the next problem there says A complement, union B complement. So IB, A complement, union B complement. Okay, IB says A complement intersection B complement. Before you can find A complement intersection B complement, you need to find A complement and B complement individually. So we need to get A complement. So A complement is just uh, those elements that will complete A because some elements are missing in set A. Okay, if you take a look at set A here, set A contains 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. There are some elements that are missing in set A. Okay, so there is no one in set A, no 3, no 5, no 7, and no 10. These are the elements that are missing in set A. Now what of B? B complement. Look at set B, there is no 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So you don't have 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 in set B. So these are the complements of set B. Then to answer the equation, which they say we should get A complement intersection B complement, we now have that A complement intersection B complement We now become, what am I seeing here that I can also see here? That is the intersection and the element is just 10. Only 10 is common in both sets. So the answer is just 10. Now there is something I want you to visualize here. Take a look at this question, A union B complement and uh, A complement intersection B complement, okay? You see that when we solve this question, we got 10. And when we solve the second question, we still get, get uh, still got 10. You can now summarize that um, A union B, all in complement, is equivalent to um, A complement intersection B complement. So you see that union turn to intersection and complements affected everything here. A mathematician stated this law and is very fine and his name is uh, Morgan. So we call this law Morgan's uh, law of set theory. 
So A union B or complement is equivalent to A complement intersection B complement. So let's continue because we've got uh, two more questions to deal with. So I'll clean uh, up here. Okay. So let's find A complement union B complement. A complement union B complement. Already we've known A complement and we've known B complement. Their values are here. We have A complement here and we have B complement here. Therefore, A complement union B complement means margin A complement and B complement together without repeating any element. I have one. I have two. I have three. I have four. I have five. Six. Seven, eight, no nine, but we'll have ten. So this is A complement union B complement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. Okay, so look up here again. When we found A intersection B of complement, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, which is equivalent to this one here. So you can now see also that um a intersection B complement is equivalent to A complement union B complement. So this is part of Morgan's uh, law of set theory. It's part of the law. Intersection we found to union, union we found to intersection, but complements affects the two sets there. So finally, we are asked to get the cardinality of A and B complement. Whenever you see this n, n means number of elements present in a particular set, the cardinality. So assuming I, I have uh, a set A equals uh, 1, 3, for instance. Then cardinality of A, written as n of A, is just 2 because A contains 2 elements. Okay? So cardinality of any set means count the number of elements present in that uh, set. So I'm going to look for the set A intersection B complement. So where is it? A intersection B complement. We found it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 10. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. There are 9 members there. So therefore, the cardinality of the set in question is just uh, 9. So um, at this point in time, I'm coming to the end of this episode. Kindly subscribe to my channel. It gives you notification whenever a new video is out. Thank you so much. All right.